Brendan Burke and the Bethlehem Steel return home to Goodman Stadium here on the campus of Lehigh University to take on Toronto FC2 in an Eastern Conference clash. Bethlehem coming off a dramatic 2-1 victory over another Canadian side, Ottawa FC, just a week ago, thanks to Santi Moir in the 81st minute. Tyler Terrence along with Bruce Silverman and Bruce, a great match on tap here. A three points for Bethlehem tonight, and they would move into sixth place. Yeah. James was trying to get rid of it towards the other end, takes a deflection off Nanko, and will stay in Toronto territory. Back for Nanko, finding Najim in plenty of space. Najin linking up with Derek Jones. The back heel for Najim. Oh, it's beautiful. Najim going for goal. It's off the post. Roberts can't get there. And there's an offside flag up on the on the far side. Oh, it was mesmerizing football. Bruce Silverman has his hands on his heads, and I'm sure Najim does as well. TFC2 moving forward with great authority here. Ryan James looking for an avenue. Sends it along the byline. McCrary into the box. It's a good ball. Andrews with the snap header and it just goes wide. That was probably the best move we've seen from start to finish from TFC2. Good movement here from Bethlehem. Tribbett goes out wide for Nanko. Leaving it off for Najim. Back for the Canadian Nanko. Bends in a ball, looking for Burke, lining up the volley. Oh, it's a spectacular finish from the Jamaican. And in his first game as a captain for Bethlehem, leading by example, it's 1-0 to Bethlehem. Good opportunity for them, fresh legs up top, and another opportunity as they take the ball into the final third. McCrary on the move once more, trying to break through. He's taken down, Spot. and it's going to be a penalty. And Jordan McCrary with a few words for Matt Real to boot. Yeah, McCrary and Real have been battling all night long. No love lost there. Tainter now 36 feet away from drawing this game at 1-1. Tainter. And he buries it. Big conversion from Tainter and TFC2 are level. It's 1-1 here at Goodman. Yeah, excellent job of just going right at it. And the captain makes, the, makes Real pay for his decision. Bethlehem electing to play quickly. Broadley's going to let them. Nanko slipping it through for Burke. Corey Burke, he's in on goal. He's tripped up. Is it going to be a penalty? Yes, it will. And, and speed kills. And that, that was all Burke. And now it's the second yellow card of the game for Julian Dunn. Probably didn't deserve the first, but certainly deserves the second one here as Julian Dunn is sent off. And in a matter of moments, it is really turned for the worse for TFC2. Chambers, like a man who's been very reliable from the spot, and he buries it. Bethlehem Steel take the lead, and it's through that man, James Chambers, his fifth goal of the season comes onto the scene here as a sub and makes good on it. 2-1 to Bethlehem. Now back on the right side, but Tainter giving that ball away. And now plenty of room to run for Bethlehem into this feet of Nanko. Chris Nanko still on top of it. Nanko going for goal in the far post, and he's got number three for Bethlehem. And that surely seals all three points for the home side now. Chris Nanko, Johnny on the spot for Bethlehem. It's 3-1 to the home side. If I'm Bethlehem, I'll take the three points, but I don't know that I'm incredibly happy with the effort. Well, is it the effort or the wire-to-wire the, uh, -wire performance? No, I, I really think that it might be the effort because uh, they, they were very good for two-thirds of, uh, of the pitch. When they got into the final third, things broke down. It's it's hard to make that comment that things broke down in the final third when you look at a match that was three to one, but it was nil-nil at the end of 45 plus three, and, or 45 plus one. And, and for me, that one moment where Bethlehem lost their composure and it took their manager making a substitution bringing in their heartbeat, bringing in Chambers to slow things down. That, to me, was the critical moment. You look at this match, it wasn't so much about the players on the pitch. It was that one moment where Burke went to his bench and made the right substitution at the right time to settle his team down.